Hi everyone, gonna go over the math picks for kindergarten 2017-2018 school year for our homeschooling. Let's get right into it. Um, first of all, you will, if those who have watched the end of year review from, from our math series from pre-K will recognize these. Um, these are what we use, these foam shapes and Coke bottle caps are what we use for counters and math manipulatives. Um, we will be doing the Horizons Homeschool, um, math, the Horizons Math Curriculum. Um, we have switched from the Mathematical Reasoning, which those might, might remember that we did love it. However, last year we didn't like that we didn't have a uh, teacher's guide. And math and the Horizons Math does come with a teacher's guide. Um, however, I will warn you, for those who don't want a Chris, Christian curriculum creeping in, this is a Christian curriculum, and I did find, and just through, through, flipping through it just quickly, we've only found the the one lesson so far referencing Christianity, and it is this le the last lesson of the book at all, which is God used numbers in, to put the world in order, match the the day to the ordinal number. And this is the only Christian reference that I have found in the series. Doesn't mean there's not others, but it is a Christian book. And for those wanting to avoid that, I just wanted to be sure that that put in there. We picked it because like the mathematical reasoning, it was a spiral approach, um, bright, colorful, um, gentle, and this is book two. So if you're looking at this going, wow, this isn't what they start with. Um, there's a lot of clock stuff in there for my clock obsessed girl, daughter. She is just thrilled that she gets to learn about the clocks this year. She is just anxious and asking me, is it August yet? Is it time to start yet? Um, so this is what we'll be doing for um, our main math. Um, we have a few supplemental things that we'll be doing. Um, when we were at Costco, my daughter found the Star Wars series asking if she could get it and we had the pre-k one that she kind of just did as fun stuff and just to kind of scribble and color in but when I got this home and I said sure I'll look at it and it was fairly cheap for this plus two language arts books um it was fairly cheap I can't remember how much it was but when I flipped through it um it's actually fairly good like review stuff and working on the numbers and just reinforcing what what we'll be learning in the horizon stuff so we'll be using this as a supplementary math tool as well. Um, another one that I'll probably start letting her do this during the um, summer. And again, it's just for helping to write numbers. And she doesn't have to do this one if she doesn't want to. It just looked really fun. And this, believe it or not, came from the Dollar Tree. But it's cute. Um, there's not a lot to it. I certainly would not do it as an only thing. But it makes her good supplement. It makes her good, like reinforcement but I wouldn't do this as like the sole factor um, the other big one that we did and we found this this is another score at the um, Barnes & Noble clearance it's in it's called inchimals and what it is is you've got these blocks which ta -da, each of these segments is an inch hence the word inchimals and these things they're actually an inch square and so this is one square inch completely that's an, an inch cube and so this helps with measurements it helps with addition subtraction and there's a lot of things so what you do with it is you take these little rods and then you go mouse plus lady bug so you'd find the mouse which is three, and the ladybug, which is one, and you put them together and see how many units together that makes, which obviously would be four. So mouse plus ladybug equals, and then you find the one that's four inches, which I'm not sure which one that is. I think maybe rabbit. So you do mouse plus ladybug equals rabbit, and then you do that in number form. So you'd go three plus one equals four, and it goes, does, does the add addition, subtraction and then it goes into combining larger numbers and it actually goes pretty in depth um, so that's our other main so it's the horizons and that are the main fo focus with the um, 
Star Wars and the numbers counting as reinforcements. We also have this tiny polka dot. It's a number card game, and um, which came and and it's a number card game with different kind of games and there's numbers and dots on it. And I really liked it because um, I really want her to really get a strong grasp and the getting to see three dots and knowing just without having to count it. Three dots, that's three. Um, and then we found this number puzzles, which is two sided. There's a number side and then a number and uh, the like, so this it's, there's a, the numeral eight and then the um, eight objects or the numeral and the number word. And we like that because it kind of helps to teach sight words. It helps to, again, reinforce that number of objects is that number kind of thing. What we got from where? Um, Timberdoodle used to sell this. This is where I first heard about it. I don't think they sell this anymore in their curriculum. We found this at Barnes & Noble on clearance. I don't know if all stores will have this, but that's where we found it. Um, this Star Wars book set, workbook set, actually came from Costco. Um, this came from the Dollar Tree, this Disney numbers and counting book. And then the Horizons and the Tiny Polka Dot came from Tim was part of our Timberdoodle pet. Um, and so far we are very excited for all of it. We are very happy and my daughter is just looking forward to getting into it. She's already gotten into the number puzzles. Um, she's been begging to get into the other stuff and I have, just haven't done it yet. I might let her soon, but that's what we're doing for math this year. Thanks for watching and keep, make sure to like and subscribe and turn your notifications on if you want to follow along throughout our year and see how we like it as we progress into our curriculum. Thanks for watching. Bye.